For those of you that don't know what WUWA stands for, it stands for Wake Up, We're Affected. Because quiet as it's kept, we ain't gonna keep it a secret no more. We are affected by everything that happens out here in our community with HIV and AIDS. If it does pertain to you about your community and your life and your family as a whole. In 1983, Don was diagnosed with full-blown AIDS. He had three months to six months to live. And he lived with AIDS for 20 years. He passed March 22nd. When Don got diagnosed, we weren't even in church. You know, we were, you know, we were in the street. And we were smoking crack, you know, we were drinking, we were smoking weed. We were doing all kinds of things, you know. We found the Lord together, and then we got baptized together. And we realized that we had 23 nieces and nephews that lost one or both parents to AIDS. And we had 16 family members that was living with AIDS, and Don was the eldest. And so Don decided that the buck stops here. But what we wanted to do is to save the rest of our family. And so we set out to learn about HIV AIDS and to teach the family about it. We ended up putting on programs. We figured that it was better if we put on a show and then had information about HIV AIDS because people learn better that way. Our first show was Letting Go and Moving On and these are the kids that lost their parents. And it was really emotional because, you know, we had kids that were singing and they would break down in the middle of the song because they were thinking about their parents and stuff like that. But we wanted to show the devastation that could happen in a family because we always think about Africa or India or Asia where they have a you know, high percentage of people living with AIDS, but nobody thinks about their backyard. And this pastor discovered us and what we were doing. And so he decided that we should start an organization. The name of our organization is Wake Up, We're Affected, and the nickname is WUWA. We do life coaching for families who are infected and affected with HIV AIDS, and we put on community health programs. When WUWA got started, we got kicked out of a couple churches because Don had AIDS. And so that's what made us really um, get into the fight, because um, instead of us leaving the church, we ran to the church. We stuck in there. We wanted our faces to be in there so they will understand that we're not going anywhere. We have 8,819 people who are living with AIDS in the state of Minnesota. This is in your backyard. I believe Jesus will be working with people with HIV AIDS because he worked with the least of these. My pastor tells me that I have a church without walls you know, because I see a bigger picture. You know, We're supposed to go get them, bring them in, grow them up, and send them out. You can't wait for people to fall into the church. You have to go get them, and so I walk like Jesus. With Here's Life, I got involved four years ago. My pastor wanted me to go to one of the dinners that they were having because she wasn't able to make it. So Don and I showed up, and when we sat there, when we looked at all what Here's Life did, we were so impressed because they had the same heart that we had. With Wuwa, most of the money came out of our pockets. Like, when it was time for kids to go to school, we would buy all the school supplies. We had little bags to set up with papers and pens and all that kind of stuff, and that's what we used to pass out. Here's Life has power packs. We would use our food stamps and make boxes, which, which Here Life has boxes of love. And so that's what we were doing, but it, the money was coming out of our pockets. So when we were sitting there, I was like hitting down. I was like, look at that, look at that, you know? I said, this is the bomb. And so he says, well, we need to find out more about that. So we came to a training and we were so impressed because when God gives you a ministry, he equips you in everything you need. And what I like about Here's Life, they train you for what you need to do. You know, it's one thing going out and doing the work for Christ, but if you're not properly trained, you won't know how to receive the people and the people will know how to receive you. So we really, really liked that. And so then when we got involved, you know, putting the boxes together um, with the music playing in the background and, and the heart of everybody there, we just fell in love with it. Because it's like a chain. People donate to Here's Life. Here's Life donates to the people who's gonna give it to somebody else. So it's like four loves coming down the line. You know, it's so powerful. So when the person gets it, the box of love, it's truly love because it came from so many people as, as a giving gift, you know? And so we were really impressed with that. It helped Wua a whole lot because we're not funded. So, um, I could still do what I need to do. And, um, and Here's Life provides me with that. Here's Life, they really made me understand that I am an evangelist. When I pass out the boxes of love or when I pass out 
the um, power packs, you know, you talk to them about Christ, that's evangelism, you know, and so I think Christ wants me to talk about the things that I have went through, how God has brought me to now and where I'm going to. The partnership between Here's Life and Wake Up We're Affected, woo -wah, it's been fantastic. And with their training and with their love, I know that I can really walk into the purpose that I am supposed to walk in.